Hi everyone, so today I think it's going to be quite uh, an interesting video because I'm going to look at your rejected images. So uh, some of you were uh, brave enough to send me a sample of the images that were rejected by Adobe. Thank you very much and uh, I'm going to take a look at them and we'll see maybe what uh, the reason uh, for the rejection could be. Uh, just a little disclaimer, I do not work for Adobe, so I'm not like an expert. And what I'm going to say is just like my opinion. And of course, if I am going to criticize some images, I'm not criticizing you personally, but just uh, the images and their um, quality. All right, so um, let's go. Uh, now I'm going to uh, share my screen and I've opened the images in uh, Photoshop uh, so that it's uh, easier for me to show you uh, the things. Uh, so, so the first image uh, kind of like a sad uh, Android uh, robot. Uh, at this like small resolution, I think it doesn't look uh, bad. Um, let's see the image size. So the final resolution is uh, 6000. Uh, it is a good resolution, but it's um, like quite a lot and if needed we can even like decrease it a little bit to 5000 i will show you later in other pictures so let's uh, look at full uh, resolution so now uh, i'm looking at the image at 100 percent and what we can see is in my opinion the body uh, looks uh, quite good uh, but I have an issue with uh, the face. So as the face is like human looking, I uh, would uh, say that I would expect um, him to look more natural. So you can see that um, Uh, so right here, like the eye is uh, is not looking uh, that great, and also like this ear area of his neck is uh, not perfect. So uh, in your uh, position, I would try to either uh, like vary the image in mid journey, like click on very subtle and see if the other faces look a little bit better or not. Or uh, if this is not a version 6, which I have a feeling is it's not a mid-journey version 6, then I would try to regenerate the prompt in mid-journey version uh, 6 and see the result uh, there. But with this particular picture, uh, we can maybe uh, blur out the neck a little bit to make uh, the... Uh, st uh, like the texture here a little bit softer also here uh, and like we cannot do much uh, about the eye but if we make an image a little bit less uh, big so I would go with 5000 and we look uh, back at the face so it's not um, I don't know like it looks maybe a little bit um, better uh, like this, um, uh, but I'm not uh, saying it's going to help. Also, the hair maybe I would uh, also soften a little bit, but you know, like if you don't want to uh, waste your time uh, like photoshopping those uh, images, then as I said, you just try to very subtle if you're like in general like what you see. I would try very subtle, I would try regenerating it in uh, version 6 uh, to see if the result is better. I think like that it's a little bit better uh, and you can actually like try uh, re-uploading it. 
uh, after playing with it a little bit but you know it depends like how much uh, time you really want to spend with it uh, so let's move on to uh, the next um, to the next picture uh, so this is the paper uh, cut style uh, woman uh, with uh, the flowers in her head um, so this is from the same user so the resolution is again uh, 6000 and here we can see the image at full resolution so in my personal opinion it's uh, not bad uh, but like um, the Adobe Adobe became uh, pickier about stuff so I would say like these flowers this this are a little bit or like here what's going on here um is or here it's like oh here on top you can see that it's a little bit messy uh so again i would try to recreate it in version six um uh, you can again like decrease the image size a little bit uh, but it will not fix uh, the some of the flower situation here um, but i think these ones look a little bit better at a less uh, resolution uh, like overall I, I like the image but as i said there is like s there are some details that are not uh, perfect here and uh, they just became really picky about what they accept also since like it's a kind of like a feminine image uh, you can use it there is like copy space so you can use it as some card for i don't know like international women's day or mother's day or something like that so i would uh, maybe pick a different uh, color scheme for this image so uh, maybe I would go with more pinks and pastels um, uh, so you, you can adjust your prompt or we can just um, uh, we can just uh, s like make a quick adjustment in Photoshop uh, like just to see how it changes when you uh, change the colors uh, a little bit so like i'm not saying uh to do it like this but just i don't know to me like a more feminine color scheme would fit uh better uh, for this particular image but uh, this is just a suggestion i think otherwise like it's it's not a bad it's not a bad picture um and the last one from this user again like from uh this uh, like at this size it looks uh kind of good uh, but when we make it at 100 percent resolution that is why i also tell you to always look at 100 percent resolution you can see that her texture of the face is very very grainy right like i i think you can see that it's like pixelated uh on the neck you can even see like there's kind of a square in there uh let me just make it draw um like here it kind of splits into a square and then it's like really really she's very very pixelated again i can see the squares like here here and uh this is i think uh not like a mid-journey issue it's your upscaler issue so i would try uh, like the robot looks a little bit better but also you can see here on the white it's very pixelated uh in the also here in the face you can see the the dots you know that are not supposed to be there um so and as i said i think this is like um an upscaler setting issue so i would play with your upscaler um and try to change the settings i use a hit photo enhancer and there i just use one mode in uh, that they have it's like a general um this is the 
yeah so i use like general mode and fast for all of my images and i uh, like the result that it gives so uh, if you are using like topaz gigapixel i don't know what their settings are but i would play with that otherwise i think the image is fine um but i have uh, again like the attention to detail so we can see that there is a second hand there right but it then then it kind of like goes nowhere because here we clearly see just one there isn't even like a suggestion of the other hand and like it doesn't kind of go anywhere right so where's her second hand um and also uh the chair here also like it goes kind of uh into nothingness which uh to me looks uh, strange uh, but this is like really uh, being a uh, detail uh, oriented um as to the uh, you know um subject of of the image uh, i like it uh, i would suggest uh, generating also like the guy robot like they are on a date she can be of course on a date with a girl a robot uh, make sure to reflect that in your keywords but i would you know like play uh also with uh with this otherwise i think it's it's like a good one it's a good idea for sure so i would try again maybe regenerating it uh or do, do the very subtle thing to see if uh, if another hand emerges i would try to regenerate uh, the prompt in version 6 i would play with the settings uh to make it uh, less pixelated because here if you just um, uh, you know like make the picture smaller it will not solve uh, the issue with the pixels there so uh, this is for sure like the upscaler uh, also for me i found that when i generate in in version 6 and it's uh, like a picture of uh, people uh, and I like it. Um, sometimes it gives me a better result when I upscale it in mid journey, uh, the subtle upscale, and then I, I upscale in my um, uh, upscaler uh, like 200%, um, uh, not the 400. So you could also try uh, that um yeah so this was uh, from uh, one person and we are moving on to the next uh, so here uh, the uh, farmer girl so let's uh, okay let's see the image size so it's again towards uh, six uh, thousand so again you can like do with a little bit less if you need uh, here uh, at 100%, uh, first of all, to me, it's a little bit like not sharp enough. Uh, so here actually making it um, smaller may help a little bit. So it looks a little bit sharper or you can like add sharpness and in Photoshop or you can, as I said, uh, try and doing it in version six and then upscaling it in mid journey and then in your own upscaler. Uh, like this face is okay-ish, the teeth are a little bit funky, but I think on a kind of like acceptable uh, natural uh, level uh, and i think what uh, what's like a bigger problem is that again uh it's it will be your upscaler issue so these other faces are supposed to be blurred out but uh, uh, on some upscaler setting it is like trying to create a face where there shouldn't be one there should be like more blur but it's kind of trying to draw a face there and it looks uh, kind of weird right it's not how it's supposed to look and also this lady's uh, teeth are clearly uh, bad in there like it's a uh, i would uh, 
either try to really uh, like blur her out or uh, again uh, like you can work in Photoshop uh, in um, like using the generative uh, fill uh, to to give her better teeth so yeah so even though she's like blurred out uh, if you look at 100% resolution, you can see those mistakes. Um, but as I said, this is like more your upscaler setting issue than uh, the mid journey issue. Um, all right, uh, let's go to the next one. Um, okay, the lady here. Um, So to me, again, she is not sharp and I'm like right now at 100% and I feel like she is a little bit like grainy, like the the quality is just not there. Uh, so in this case, again, I would try um, either changing the upscale, uh, uh, your, your upscaler setting or again, generate in V6, uh, do the... A subtle uh, upscale and then upscale in your own um, program that you are using uh, but uh, this to me is just like here you have a better detail so basically the focus is on the boobs and not on the face and this is like not what we want uh, or not what Adobe uh, wants apparently so that's uh, like I think the biggest uh, issue also uh, let me just check the ratio yeah so it's 16 to 9 and that's uh, that's uh, fine uh, so let's move on all right so here uh, we have a portrait of a black lady so here first of all um, the aspect ratio is strange so now I made the 3 to 2 or 2 to 3 one and you don't have like it's not a square it's not a 2 to 3 it's like uh, it looks like you created uh, an image and then you chopped uh, part of it off to just create more variety uh, so I wouldn't do it uh, like that. Uh, you should avoid it because when the aspect ratio is like weird like that, um, it it decreases the usability of your image. Uh, so I would try to avoid uh, doing that. And let's look at the lady. Okay. So I don't think she looks bad. Like I can see here, there is some like chromatic aberrations that Adobe might uh, not uh, not appreciate. Uh, but it's like it's not too bad. Um, I feel like here it like I don't know if it's making like a square. If it's um, again the upscale problem. Uh, and again, I think that there is like more sharpness and the detail on the dress than on the and on like on the shoulder than on the actual uh, face, uh, which uh, which is a, a problem. So like when you do portraits like that, you can just try prompting that uh, the face should be in focus. I don't know, like it doesn't really happen uh, to me much. So uh, I don't know if just uh, changing the prompt uh, would help. But here you can see like the, um, her shoulder looks uh, really like good. Uh, and you know, the back and this part of the dress. But then if you go to the face, uh, it's a little bit uh, less in focus and like more grainy uh, so that is i think uh, what's uh, the problem here and uh, this lady uh, it would be i think the the chromatic aberrations uh, around like here 
uh, it, like again it's not a, like not a lot but but um, here on the hat it's quite visible you can see that there is like like a line in there and they in general don't like it and and again like the uh in the face the quality is not i don't know i would just make it a uh, smaller uh, but it, but as i said like because basically i think you chopped the image uh, to make it uh, to make it like i don't know more images from one uh, and the aspect ratio is weird uh, there is uh, not uh, a lot where we can like uh, lower uh, the resolution uh, I don't know why it does this that the face is not uh, as sharp as again uh, the the body you can see like here the skin uh, texture really clearly and then on her face it's like eh, like the eyes are not super sharp uh, so yeah so you can play again either with your upscaler or just um, redoing uh, the image um, uh, in in the journey trying to uh, change the prompt uh, and saying that the focus should be uh, on the face and um, the last uh, set of images uh, were not generated in a mid journey and i think that's like the biggest uh, issue of the images like even if you look at it right now at not at what sorry not at 100 resolution it's kind of like not really like visually appealing it doesn't look good in my opinion um just like from uh, looking at it uh, like this uh, if if we tried uh, prompting mid journey the quality or at least I can see it clearly there is a more detail there is no uh, weird lighting or grain it looks really um, usable and what we have here it's just um, not great looking even without uh, like uh, magnifying it and when we look at 100 percent we can see all of the noise in there so the picture is very noisy the lines are not uh, perfect um, this is like it's just not giving you uh, the quality that you need to upload it on adobe stock um, i know that the person told me that you know they they did it before with the same image generator and that their images were accepted by adobe but um you know things uh, change and just from what i see and from my perspective uh this is just not good enough and uh, again as you can see I made a, like a simple prompt, a little bit similar to what she did. And I don't know, like really from what I see there, the difference is great uh, in those two images. So I would suggest just give, give me journey a try. I know it's a paid, um, it's a paid service, but you know, um, if we are expecting to make money out of it, I think it's um, reasonable to think that we should invest something into it uh, also. Um, so uh, basically to me, all of the images from this user are going to have the similar issue and that it's just like um, the generator is not doing a very good job. So at full resolution, it, it uh, like especially here uh, or like everywhere, it's really like weird looking, not really looking like water at, uh, at, the, at this resolution, just not very good quality um, image generator in, in my opinion. 
um, so if we look at the sofa so uh, here the you know look like it, it's like a broke it's a broken leg that goes nowhere you can see that there is like a, a space in there and here again you you cannot see it actually touching the floor and the floor is funky it's like wavy right it's not like here it kind of the planks disappear right you can see that right it's it's like uh, to me it's quite obvious uh what is wrong again like the plant it's not standing on the floor uh, like you know here the way it should again the plants are kind of growing out of nowhere um the, the like it's it's just um it's just not looking good i'm sorry um like if you did the same prompt that you used here in mid journey it would give you a completely different image with a very different uh, quality uh, so uh and the last one is like crumpled uh, paper and again at full res um it's just like not not great it's um it's kind of not looking like a paper anymore um yeah so uh so this is what i think about that that uh, it's just um this this generator is just not giving you the quality for like a commercial use because you know like the the clients are not uh stupid they would uh, look at it uh they uh, you know this is like clear you can see that the floors are bad but even like with the water okay at a small image it doesn't maybe look like too too horrible but they buy it they magnify it and they see it's not good they uh, will not will not be happy about it you know they would complain to adobe and adobe doesn't need the clients to complain uh, to them about the quality of the images so uh, they will just not accept it uh, into their uh, collection so uh, I would just um, reconsider and try you can you know you can buy me journey for one month you can pay the 10 bucks you can try it out see the difference and you know if you're not satisfied or if you still think that you can do with your free generator, you can always, uh, you know, cancel the subscription. Um, but uh, this is like my advice to you to just uh, really give it a try. And based on the, the blue photo with the cube, we could see that it really gives a little bit um, different uh, result um yeah so so that was uh it uh from me and from you guys so um based on this video if you want to see uh, more uh images um analyzed like that you are uh you know welcome to uh, send me more uh my email is in the channel uh, description and you know if you send me more i would uh, talk about uh, more images um you know it don't have to be your rejected ones it could be just uh, you know like am i doing the right thing at all kind of uh, thing you know and i would just tell you of course my view on that which is um not an expert view again i'm gonna say that but uh, you know um i've said what i said and i've given advice that uh, that i believe in 
and I really hope that this was uh, helpful uh, for you guys and uh, you know as always I wish you good sales and I will see you very soon.